So it's finally time to test out this vacuum chamber. It was originally a filter chamber, but I bought it for $20 back in 2015, and I think it would make a wonderful little vacuum chamber. It even has a nice door on the side. It's so wonderful. But unfortunately, I'm afraid that it might be too thin, since it was not designed for vacuum, as far as I can tell. So I don't know if this was implode. So, my testing criteria are, let it hold a vacuum for 15 minutes or so, then I'll see about hooking a rope onto it, lifting it up a little bit and banging it on the ground, seeing if that'll like maybe not trigger anything, because I would hate to have it to where it's just, just on the brink of collapsing upon itself, but then someday in the future I accidentally bump it or something, and then it collapses and hurts me. And then maybe a fall over test? I don't, I'm not sure. The best test would be able to put this into a chamber, so pump, th I pump this down to a vacuum and pump the chamber up to 1 or 2 psi to actually have like 15 psi pushing on the outside. But I don't have a chamber to do that, so... This would be such a perfect vacuum chamber though, because I hope to someday make a scanning electron microscope, and I could even make a, a piece that fits in between these two that can have a diffusion pump on it. It would be so cool. Well. Let's test this thing and see if I'm going to have a vacuum chamber or not. So I'm going to turn this on, run behind the house, and set a 15 minute timer. I think that's probably safe enough. Just bringing you guys the light. Okay, so now let's try something a little bit different. Okay. A little risky, but we'll work. So that's good. That is good enough for me. I'm really happy this thing survived that test because honestly, it's a really big vacuum chamber. And I'm going to be able to do a lot of things with it. It's going to be so cool. The only thing that didn't survive was the gauge. The glass broke a lot more, and so I had to take that out, but that's fine. I'm going to be replacing that with an actual vacuum gauge instead of a pressure gauge. And so my next goals with this are to mount it onto a frame. So I'll probably mount onto these little pieces right there, which are very well placed for mounting it because you have four of them. But maybe have it toward the like a stand for it to sit on. And maybe even have something to where in between these two things there is a um like a like a T that allows for a diffusion pump to hook up and so this is actually moved out like four inches or something like that. It's like a flanged fitting thing. And most likely I'll i I'm gonna wanna see about Actually, I think I still have some plastic that I bought specifically for this, making a window for it about the size of the front of this. But it's like three-quarter inch acrylic or something like that. It's really tough stuff. So yeah, this is just a quick little video of testing this out. And I'm really glad it didn't turn into a thing a imploding video. Hmm. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. See ya.